cut on three would be good. Um, you pretty much let them dictate the tempo, and they started way slower than you even sung it to them. Unacceptable. So you, you, you need to stop them right away if they're not doing your tempo, because what, what happens at the end is you're, you're, you know, you're, you're letting them pull you back, and that's why you're getting to your beats too soon. Just start it up again. Make them do it. They'll be happy to be lazy if you let them. Human nature. Okay, so, yeah, you're, you're, you're actually subdividing. Can you feel it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, trying to get them, get them going. Um, All you can do is 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 push them, and if they're and if they're not at your tempo, stop them and stop and make them do it again. Yeah. Unless you don't mind them t telling you what tempo. To there you go. Keep it smooth. Okay, good, good, fine. If you didn't like that, go ahead, do it again. They're late immediately, and so what happens is they're late on the very first beat that you're conducting, uh, which is four. So, mm, ba -di -da. so if they're not right there with you on their second note, right on beat four, you know they're you know they're late. I know you all can do this. Got that you really got the flowing thing down, and they actually you actually made them made them work that time. Good job. <laughs> Misty, where's your trumpet? Pardon me? Yeah. But we but we need you. We don't mind. We don't mind. You can't bring them with you in the morning? I do, but I have a class where I'm going to do it with you when you Okay, it's just really helpful for you to have it. Whatever you can do. You know what you did. everybody's clear on that. Mark it on your score if you don't if you don't have it marked. We're off on three here. Which should be apparent actually from what your music uh, indicates. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I would like to see you give us a little bit of emphasis on three at the two places in the score. Uh, beat er, bar two and bar six where we have that offbeat entrance again where the phrase starts over. Um, just do the first couple of bars so I can see that. You know what I'm talking about in the breath along with it? Uh, there it is. Okay. You can see it. That's where it is. That's a nice. 
the pattern looks pattern looks very nice. Hands look really good. Uh, working on that even even more flowing thing, but you've got them and you made them come up to your tempo. Good job. Go ahead, Tim. Generally, really nice job. You didn't really pick up the, the ones in the middle. Wrote a little bit more emphasis on, on three and two and six. Do the first couple bars. But it looked good, real good. Made them play at your tempo, too. And you, you gave us a breath that just it wasn't reflected in your gesture. So just a little bit more. Doesn't have to be extreme, but it should look a little bit different than these. -da. Okay? Nice job. Okay, Zim. Sorry, just check and see if I can still hit the A. <laughs> got it started pretty well. Um, pattern generally looks pretty good. When, when you get big and you want a little bit more from us, just watch that so you're not going up over your head. Part of that, what will help that a little bit is, is coming down a little bit with your pattern. Instead of being chest high to start with, maybe belly high or, or maybe a little bit higher, but somewhere in here as opposed to, as opposed to and that'll help with the, because it, it doesn't allow you to quite get up over your shoulder and stuff. So just try to keep it, keep it contained. Um, again, Mr. Bernstein is a, is a bad role model for, for beginners. But, uh, just, but, but good job on the, on the fractional preps and the breaths and stuff. Do the first couple bars real quick, please. There you go. That's a better, that's a better starting. Okay, so um, if you're going to have both hands up to start, can at least at least follow through on the downbeat, and then you can get rid of it. But this, here, just check check it when you watch me. It, it it's a little distracting. You want to avoid any anything like that. So, one more time. This legato thing, you can you can give us a little bit less emphasis, a little a little less instantaneous thing with learning to let your wrist flow a little bit more. There you go, that looks very nice. Now, when you come to the one that you want to give us emphasis on, it'll mean that much more to us. Okay, nice.
Yeah, that 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 you did right there at the end when you were doing that, that that was so much. That was really, really effective. Good. Are you looking at us? Uh oh, you look down. Good, and your uh, fractional preps were very clear. Um, when you gave us your fractional preps, you you went you went back under. Otherwise, your pattern was over, just like it's supposed to be. But on those emphasis, you came back under. Um, otherwise, look good. You can give us less on most of the beats, and and make it flowy and prettier, and let your hands just kind of do the wave. Uh, do the first couple bars and, and show us that contrast between di da 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 and then the, and then the fractional press from the top. Watch so you don't get to your beats a little bit too early because that's happening too. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. Much better, much better with, with, with the rebounds, too. They, they weren't toward the next beat like they were. Good job. A lot to think about in this, I understand. But you guys are doing well. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Make sure you're looking at us. Once your hands are up, then you're not looking at your music. So you gave us a little. You gave us a little bit of extra prep. So you gave us a three. So only three, right? So you're gonna go three. Nope. Oh, you feel it? Nope. Oh, you did it again. It was, that was really slight, but it was there. One, two, three. There you go. Good, good. That's it. Nice and slow. Make sure that you're giving us a little emphasis on beat three in bar two and bar six. Um, one of the beats, let's see, which one is it? Has a tendency to, to go toward the next beat a little bit fast. I think it might be one. If you'll conduct the first two bars for me again, please. That's the one. That's the one. The rebound of one comes up and over toward two, just a little bit too soon. Just keep it smooth and flowing so that you don't jump off of any of the beats and, and then head, head a little bit too early to, toward those. Everybody play, please, uh, at the beginning for the first two bars. That's better. That's better. That's 
Watch, watch that you're not leaning, leaning in too much and doing too much with your head and shoulders on the, on the preps, on those preps. Just keep it right here. Da, da, and you make sure you're getting it. I can hear you breathing, but we're not seeing you breathe. The visual will help us. Okay, pretty nice. Your hands look great. Pattern looks pretty. Um, maybe just a little bit more closer together. Maybe a little bit closer together, just because it tends to get out a little bit, a little bit far. Uh, you, we can use a little more emphasis to differentiate those those fractional preps on three from the other beats. But they all look great too. So just give us a mm, just a little bit uh, to differentiate. Do the first two bars, please. So that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. I know you're feeling it, but we're not seeing kind of what you're feeling. It, uh, it probably feels like you're doing extra on three and you're moving a little bit farther, but that's not what we're looking for. What we need is a little bit more emphasis on the beat itself. So one, two, three. See the difference between... Yeah, it should be. Pardon me? Oh, it's yeah, it's definitely more of an ictus. Definitely more of an ictus. I'm sorry if that hasn't been clear. Yeah, we just need to that that will that's what we're looking for to make the beat more clear to us. <gasps> da -de -da. The rest of them, you know, are that floaty wrist thing. And then when we get to the three, it needs to be mm, a little bit more, which will help us in the fract. It's it's the same with the syncopation gesture. It's just a little bit more. Um, pronounced in the syncopation gesture, but yes, exactly right. Good job. Pretty good. Um, when you, when the when the dynamic got a little bit louder and the, your emphasis on three entered into it, then you were around three just a little bit early and slowing down, getting getting into four. So just watch it. Um, hands look really good. You can probably give us a little bit less on each one of the beats that you don't want to emphasize. Just keep it smoother and steadier. And then when you do get to the three, ah, just a little bit more of an ictus. Okay, just do the first two bars for me. I think you could be a little bit bigger on the body, on the pattern in general.
It's okay. That's fine. The, the first, one, first one was good. I know you're thinking about a whole bunch of things. Um, off of three, that, that kind of consistently comes around a little bit too early. So if you'll think of approaching beat four a little bit more from the side and not from straight down, we want to reserve straight down for what? What, what beat is always straight down? One. So reserve, reserve that for your downbeats. Make sure that you're approaching, three, approaching four from the side. And then it, then it goes up and in, but from the side and not, not over and straight down. Maybe that'll help you slow it down too. Two, three, because it, it can go out and around and then back. Okay, good job. Okay, one more. Take your time going around. What you find yourself thinking about that because I know you know your four pattern. What what, what you think was distracting? Um, it's the the three. Uh, so in bar four. Three in bar four. Uh, and they come in on B three. Ba -da -da. Yeah, I, I, I think my, I, I flipped it for one. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just do the first couple of bars one more time. Uh, what was I thinking? Uh, oh oh, your baton tip. It's something I mention frequently. Yeah, I know. It's um, and I, why is that? I, I think it's just that your wrist is just wrist is straight out. If you if you raise your raise your arm just up a little bit, yeah, and now you can relax your turn your wrist, turn your hand. There you go. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Pull your wrist, your elbow out away front. There you go. That's that's better. Go ahead and do the first couple of bars. Okay, that's good.